Hello there! Welcome back to UV Studio and on my third video of my journal. Uh, this journal was done during my art field trip to South Carolina. The Airbnb that I stayed had a beautiful garden in front, so in the mornings I did my quiet time there. So hopefully you'll enjoy this special greeny um, quiet time. So let's go! Today's journal's title is called Take Out the Garbage. So as we talked about the roadblocks that we have as an artist in creativity last vlog, this journal talks about how we take out those garbage. And the verse today is from Proverbs and also in Romans. So in Romans, it talks about to not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and improve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And I'm going to read another verse from Corinthians. It's chapter 2, 2 Corinthians. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets it itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So, this meditation is very simple. To sum it up, it's there's only one answer that could actually take out our garbage. It's by God's word. And first of all, what is our garbage? It's our life, our reality, our experience and thoughts and emotions that dominate our thoughts, our minds. That is what garbage is. And usually, that is usually our roadblocks. That could be fear, that could be insecurity, that could be our past and traumatic emotions that just come and go often. Whatever that is, the meditation says the only way to replace those and not conform to the world is by Jesus and it's by God's word. The only power of God's word could really replace our thoughts that makes us drown and makes us stop and makes us fear of moving forward towards Jesus. And surprisingly, there are steps to that too. First we pray, we repent, and we ask for God to tell us the true part of a thought that we have. Usually our thought, there's a thought um, shape, let's say, and that shape is usually formed by experience, by people, by by the sayings of people, by the sayings of my parents, by what I saw in the media, and that shape is usually wrong. It's usually formed negatively, or whatever that is that just doesn't want to change. But only God's word and by the touch of Holy Spirit, and here I'm growing, I'm drawing this bird because I thought from the reference the bird really represents the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit that bird is in top of our heads inside our hearts inside our souls and that's the only way the Holy Spirit open our eyes and thoughts to the word then when we accept and pray that God I want your word to dominate my thought and transform my thoughts that is not part of you then he will and that's how we take out the garbage. And that's how simple it is. And I wanted to really meditate that through my drawing. And I hope you'll feel courage and strength through this and overcome your roadblocks and throw away their garbage today. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next journal. Bye.